The key fashion trends for 2024, a wearable spring summer edit of all the top trends you need to know, how to style those pieces in real life and where to shop the looks for less. Hello everyone and welcome back to my big spring summer fashion trends edit for 2024. Today I'll be sharing the most wearable trends, the ones I'll be avoiding, how I'll be styling the key pieces together and the best outfits that I found across the high street that fit the bill but won't break the bank. So let's get started. So let's kickstart the key fashion trends with an absolute favourite of mine and that has to be super high-waisted trousers. As seen on the runway from all my favourite designers from Rick Owens, Louis Vuitton, Saint Laurent and Alaya, high-waisted trousers are an instant hype booster with a side bonus of making me look like I have much longer legs than I actually do. I will gladly take a touch of that, thank you very much. For spring summer 2024 the style is much more exaggerated than ever before and while I probably won't be going down the liar extremes kind of avenue, I might allow myself an extra inch or so in the height. Now though I do believe it's worth investing in such brilliant staple pieces such as a great pair of trousers, I don't actually think you need to totally blow the budget either. So I have linked all my favourites that I've found across the high street recently in the description box below for you to take a look at at the end of this video. Now cardigans are of course an all year round staple for me so I am more than happy to see them on the catwalks again for spring summer 2024. Now a few designs still hold that classic crew neck style like the ones that we saw on the catwalks from Molly Goddard particularly and I especially like the one that just had that touch of embellishment across the front as it just gives it a sprinkle more personality and a little bit of a statement edge to the look. Cardigans are a classic tool for layering too which is really handy while it's still fairly cold outside and we're we're only just slowly getting into those warmer months. Plus, of course, the versatility of such a wardrobe essential is endless. Now, I would really focus your search around what will sit really well against the neckline of the blouses and the polo tops that you choose within your own wardrobe, just to make sure you really maximize its wearability within your own outfit ideas. Now, cardigan hunting can feel like a little bit of a minefield across the high street, so to save you the search, I've done a little bit of window shopping for you instead, and I found so many gorgeous options, it actually was quite to pick a favourite. The likes of Cos, Arquette, Cezanne of course and Mango are all really leaning in heavily on this particular trend and this would also be one that I wouldn't be afraid to invest in either. I hazard a guess that said cardigan would stick around in your wardrobe for many years to come. It's good news everyone, 90s vibes are sticking around for yet another season. The 90s fashion trends have left a big mark on our outfit choices for these last couple of years, and yet the catwalks continue to display quite minimal and very sleek silhouettes, quite reminiscent of those iconic 90s designs. Now seen at all the tees from Tove, Todd's, Tibby and Theory, moody colour palettes were shown in a range of suit pieces and collared tops, which left us knowing that discreet chic is definitely here to stay. So if you're considering how to include this trend into your own wardrobe this season, think about adding loose fitting design features into your blazers, your trousers, your coats, and actually dresses were ultra minimal in an array of soft neutral tones, plus straight column skirts will be making a comeback too, so lots of different options of how you can interpret this trend. Think Carolyn Bassett Kennedy style with a heavy dose of understated chic and you'll be on the right track. Now just a quick mention for those subscribers who have supported me me for a long time on YouTube. Thank you. You know I wholeheartedly appreciate all of your support. For those who are new here, you can probably tell that I am hugely passionate about fashion and I genuinely just love to share that with all of you. So if you're enjoying this video and you're finding it helpful, it'd be really lovely if you'd like to subscribe to my channel. I have added a link below. Metallics are no longer just reserved for Christmas time, so we're getting ready for a whole lot of shine in our colour palettes this spring and summer too. Now a real touch of glamour was seen from the likes of Ralph Lauren, Alexander McQueen and Raban, toying with both structure and movement within their designs. So we'll see metallics used in a range of different fabrics and shapes this season, but how can you make this really wearable in your own real life wardrobe? Well the key metallics would obviously be gold or silver, although I did actually find that lovely hint of metallic rose on the 
high street, which just feels a little bit different. And although I'm actually wearing an evening outfit here, I'm really looking forward to doing a bit of a high-low mix with the trend and just contrasting those high shine metallics with my laid back jeans. It's everyday chic with a simple nod towards that fashion trend. And to be honest, that's how I often interpret a lot of the fashion trends each season anyhow. You don't have to go all out head to toe in lame gold if that's not for you. There are no rules in fashion, which is exactly why I love it so much. And it's that confidence that will always genuinely shine through, which of course, as we know, is the most stylish look of all. Do you let me know actually, out of all of these fashion trends that I'm featuring today, which is your absolute favorite? Say if you could only pick one fashion trend to invest in this particular season, what would it be and why? Answers on a postcard in the comments below. So this year I've also made a blog post where basically everything featured in today's video is all in one place. There's lots of pictures on there and it's all separated by trends. So hopefully that will be really easy for you to navigate around and find those items that I've recommended. So I shall add a link to that in the description box below if you might find that easier to find all those outfit ideas. White dresses on trend for spring summer? Pretty groundbreaking, I know. But this 2024 white dresses got a serious upgrade with fabrics, the cuts, and an abundance of white on white lace. Now we saw sheer flowing fabrics at Stella McCartney and Valentino to absolute showstoppers at Eli Saab. But the link between all of these dresses is of course that beautiful lace detailing, making them exude an almost heirloom-like appeal. Now I think it's safe to say a white dress or skirt is an essential and genuinely wearable piece for any spring summer wardrobe. But taking inspiration from the latest catwalk trends, I'm actually planning to wear a little bit fuller white skirts this season. Just those pieces that have got a little bit more impact, just a bit more special so to speak, with a bit of a lace trim here and there to boot. And then with my dress versions I might head in the other direction with a little bit of 90s chic instead. All white slip dresses with a trim of lace, not veering into 90 territory I might add, but something along a more elegant, slinky keep train of thought. I think that's my cup of tea. So just a quick mention on some jewellery fashion trends that we saw on the catwalks and I want to start off with the bohemian chic style. Now I might do this by layering up my jewellery. Why have one necklace when you can wear five at the same time? And I might also take some inspiration from that bohemian trend and stack a few different bracelets up as well. And finally hoops, which I'm wearing today I think, have of course been around for a long time and I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. So having a range of different styles from big and chunky to quite delicate and sparkly will probably be really handy to have in your own collection. So next up in my key fashion trends for 2024, let's have a little rundown through the colour palettes that will be taking centre stage. So starting off with porcelain white, shown on the catwalks from the likes of Valentino, Saint Laurent and Chloe to name but a few. From suits to layered dresses, porcelain white, albeit with lace detailing here and there, was definitely one of the hero looks of the season. And then keeping in line with those lighter shades, we saw an awful lot of pale blue. That was particularly seen head to toe from the likes of Bottega Veneta and JW. Anderson in an array of ultra sheer fabrics. Pastels must be having a bit of a moment this summer and my favourite lilac moment has got to be in the form of silky suits at Tom Ford. How stunning was that? And of course having that colour in a silk fabric just gave the overall appearance a really luxe glow to it as well. And last but certainly not least when it comes to colours this season it was of course practically impossible to ignore cherry red. Seen on the runways from big hitters like Gucci, Burberry and Chanel it was the contrast of this colour amongst the the elegant calm hues that we saw with those pastel tones I think just made it stand out even more on the catwalks. And in real life of course for a special occasion I have this absolutely stunning number that I should be reaching for whenever the event requires. More occasions to wear this beautiful dress David if you're listening. Now aligning those colour palettes into your wardrobe is all about knowing which will be your particular forever shade not just a flash in the pan for one season or two. Now I personally generally stay away from bolder colours unless I'm looking for a showstopper party piece like the statement red dress I showed you before. So the lighter hues will definitely be more my cup of tea on say an everyday kind of basis. I do love a neutral palette in my own wardrobe but pastels of course are a great way to add a subtle splash of colour amongst all those beiges and accrues that I do tend to wear a lot. And of course having one or two pieces that can mix and match into your own outfits would be a really great way to filter some colour into your own looks this spring summer without having to lose your own personal style along the way which I think is really important. 
Now, as we approach spring summer, it definitely makes sense to show off a little bit more skin. But this fashion trend really does take it quite to the extreme. Shorts were actually so short on the runway that they looked a little bit like pants and were paraded down the catwalks in all their skimpy glory from the likes of Alexander McQueen, Prada and Max Mara. Now, whilst this trend is great for supermodels with extremely long legs, let's be honest, they would look great in just about anything they throw on. Us mere mortals might find this one a little bit hard to pull off for the Friday big shopper down stuff. Now for me personally, this is about as short as I will ever wear and only, only when it's cold enough to style it with my thick black tights. Call me old fashioned, but saving a little bit of something to the imagination is definitely the way forward. So amongst all the beautiful designs on the runways this season, of which there are many that I absolutely loved, there were, of course, a few fashion trends that I can't really see myself wearing. And super sheer fabrics worn head to toe would definitely be one of them. Sheer looks took center stage for Valentino, Chanel, Dior, and Saint Laurent, and sprinkled in with a selection of white looks or used for a fully transparent, say, dress, with pretty much nothing else underneath. Now, although this daring trend isn't exactly my cup of tea, the concept of freedom and really embracing our bodies and not feeling restricted is something that I absolutely applaud. So that could be the approach you personally take when trying out this trend this spring summer. Now, one way I could imagine making this fashion trend work in a really wearable way would be perhaps with a skirt styled with, say, an oversized cotton knit. Now, in theory, the knit would cover my dignity, but I get the softness of that sheer fabric at the bottom of my legs instead. Now, manipulating volume in your own outfit ideas is always a great way to really accentuate your silhouette. And the spring summer collection of 2024 at Mugler did exactly that. They sent Paris Hilton down the runways in a stunning silhouette enhancing dress with those straight broad shoulders and a corseted waist really highlighting that hourglass figure. Other designers such as Balenciaga and Rick Owens also followed suit. Now, it's no secret that structured blazers and jackets with defined shoulders are a popular trend on the high street. And thanks to the latest runway shows, this trend isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So to achieve this trend in summer, I would personally layer those structured pieces over the top of your floaty summer dresses or perhaps your skirts as the juxtaposition in shape will really allow those structured edges to stand out the most. Now, if you are looking for a new and alternative way to add some real structure to your looks this summer, I found these amazing dresses on the high street from Reformation and other stories, Cos, Cara Millen, and H&M that you might like to take a look at. So focusing a little bit higher up now, and we saw polo necklines displayed throughout the runways of Vivian Westwood, Miu Miu, and Gucci. The iconic mark of preppiness was given some much needed TLC this season, and being applied to designs in classic neutral color palettes, such as gray and really traditional navy, does make it seem so much more wearable. Now, not only will I be wearing the look in my everyday outfits, but I can actually see this fashion trend being particularly popular amongst workwear attire too. Adding an up-to-date edge to your office looks, but doing it with such a simple piece is the kind of trend that I personally really warm to. So if you're looking to add this particular neckline into your own wardrobe this spring summer, finding that balance of femininity and structure is really key. And don't be afraid to mix up the styling with this one either. Pair with your micro shorts if you're feeling brave, go for the style in a dress version, add your go-to jeans for daytime chic, or my new favorite look layered underneath a favorite suit combo. It's a nod to the preppy vibe with a side portion of 90s nostalgia and it feels really wearable at the same time. Now, next up to cover a fashion trend that I am going to be a little bit reluctant to take part in this spring, summer 2024, and that would be exaggerated cutouts. Lots of designers had their own quite artistic take on the look this year, from the likes of Christopher Esper, Valentino, Courage, and Acne Studios. Cutouts are definitely going to be hard to miss. Now, for me personally, I find exaggerated cutouts kind of a little bit messy, actually. I don't really want my clothes to look like they've got bits and bobs missing, or over them. And I'm not exactly keen on bearing half of my body either, no matter how warm it gets outside. However, if I was going to attempt this particular trend, I might do it in a more subtle way, perhaps with small keyhole kind of peekaboo detailing, or even like a slash neckline on my top. And I have, as it happens, seen a few about recently that do just that. So all round for me, probably less skin, a little bit more subtle nod towards this fashion trend. 
Year after year, designers of course take inspiration from nature and flowers for their spring summer collections. And the centerpiece for designs this year has to be roses. They were filtered into designs from Balmain, Tom Ford, Alexander McQueen and Marnie. The timeless appeal to roses is evident of course, so if you do like adding a little bit of print into your own wardrobe, this would be the trend to do it with. Now across the high street I've found these rose coloured options from Cezanne, Cos, Reformation and Reese. and if you're looking for something with that rose structure or perhaps detailing, I found a lovely selection of options on that too. Now for a summer classic and one that I'm sure all of us have at least one in our wardrobes already and that is the humble tank top, seen on the runways in all their relaxed glory at the Stella McCartney Paris show and dressed up with sparkles at both David Coma and 16 Arlington. Plus we even saw them just on their own too in sort of a mini dress chic kind of vibe at the Diesel show. And in my humble opinion I do think tank tops can add a really effortless chic to any outfit idea. They're super affordable, they're easy to style so I'm definitely all in on this particular trend. Now personally I prefer my tank tops that are a little bit of a heavier 100% cotton. Anything made from quite a flimsy cotton tends to make it feel like it clings in all the wrong places so I do tend to opt for slightly thicker options from the likes of Cos and Arquette. I'd say they're probably my two favourites. The exception to that rule however would be when I'm wearing my tanks a little bit more oversized then I think it's quite nice to go for a thinner cotton as you get that lovely drape overall to the look. And as it happens, they look particularly nice styled with jeans. Love it or hate it, but the 1920s are back with a vengeance. Seen in the form of tassel skirts, feathers and a whole lot of fringing. It was on the catwalk at Bottega Veneta in sky blue tones, mini tassel dresses at Tom Ford and even Prada sent fringe skirts and shirts down the runway with dramatic effect. Now while I like a statement skirt and do get lots of use out of them throughout say Christmas time, I just feel like I probably wouldn't be reaching for them when it comes to summer. But each to their own, I suggest you go forth and rock the Roaring Twenties if you so wish. Now typically when someone says the word waistline, we think of our trousers or perhaps our jeans, but this season's runway shows waists were centered around the dress and coats more than anything else. Seen on the runways from the likes of JW Anderson, Yudon Choi and Burberry to name but a few, but my favorite of all has to be that drop waist trench coat that I saw at JW Anderson. I do really like finding a great trench and I feel that this timeless and obviously very classic design has just been given a very stylish new lease of life. Happy days to that. Now there can be some downsides with drop waistlines if perhaps you're looking to elongate your silhouette as it can lengthen your torso and then shorten your legs. But not all designs have to cut you off. Keeping your looks in the same color for instance will absolutely help to maintain the flow of the visual line and of course keeping that overall look really coherent. All black looks for spring summer, it's a thing. As seen in the shows from Maison Margea, Undercover and Saint Laurent to name but a few, all hosting a range of designs consisting of luminous dresses and tulle wrapped suits. Now I personally really loved the addition of the tulle as I think it gives the structure of the blazer an unusual, softer and more elegant edge as a whole look. Now if you're looking for new ways to style the black pieces into your wardrobe this summer and stay on trend with the catwalks while you do it, the addition of black tulle would be my best advice. Now I've seen this done a few different ways but tall dresses and skirts do tend to stick in my mind the most. I would personally say that thin layers of tulle are better to avoid looking a little bit like a ballerina and those thinner layers can also give a nod to the sheer trend too while you're doing it. And of course doing this trend with a skirt does give you a touch more movement and a little bit of romanticism to finish off the overall look. Now I found some great options across the high street for all different budgets from the most affordable end of the scale at H&M which are always worth a look for reimagining what we've seen on the catwalks very very affordably. Arquette are a fan favourite with me and I know lots of you love them too and I did see a really lovely tulle skirt with them and me and Em have both full length dresses and a black polka dot blouse to tick this trend style box perfectly. The Frankie shop have one that really focuses on those pleated detailing which I think is a really lovely juxtaposition with both the shape and material too so definitely worth a look. 
So, which is your favourite fashion trend? Do let me know all of your thoughts, your favourite outfits, your favourite fashion trends, and the ones you won't be partaking in, in the comment section below. So it's really lovely to hear everyone's thoughts. I think you know me well by now, but I'm always up for a good chit chat. I really hope you've all enjoyed this week's video, and it's got you thinking about all the fashion trends to wear this spring summer 2024, and possibly too a few that you might be giving a miss as well. Thank you so much for all of your support for both me and my channel. It's very much appreciated, and I'm really looking forward to sharing lots more outfit ideas and styling tips for the rest of 2024 so hopefully you will join me for that take care